baritone who can charm and even believe what he says when he says it. And he enters the world. Now, that was Heath. Um, we didn't write it with Heath in mind. Uh, Heath was working on the Joker at the time. And I um, put him up in a little uh, workspace in our uh, special effects company in London. And there was one day, I was showing uh, my storyboards to the, the effects guys, and Heath was sitting there working. And in the middle of this, he slipped me a note saying, can I play Tony? And I said, yes. Uh, and we then went out to get the money based on Heath being uh, our, lucky, our, our lucky charm, really. And what amazed me about Hollywood, and I, you know, I rail about Hollywood, but we went around with this rather wonderful script, with beautiful artwork, and with Heath, and we couldn't get any money. And this was after Brokeback Mountain. And I was saying, do you understand, in the summer of 2008, the Dark Knight is going to come out. Heath is going to be the biggest star on the planet. And even the Hollywood executives who we were dealing with that couldn't understand what the future was going to bring. Uh, which always amazes me, but never amazes me at the same time. Um, anyway, so uh, I want to show a little bit. You've seen a little bit already of Heath. Um, but I'm not going to show you his face. You're going to have to watch this bit with him wearing a mask. So can we run the next clip, please? 